Most people have heard about Animation Cancel for both. However, what most people don't realize is that there are dozens of Animation Cancels in this game, and three really big standouts that are useful for Bow users. In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform the three most important Animation Cancels for Bow, and then tell you which one I think is the most useful for beginners and pros alike. First up, we have the Dragon Piercer Cancel. I have an entire video on this method, so I won't go into too much detail here. Suffice it to say that you can skip half the animation by going into a Dragon Piercer immediately after a Dodge Bolt counter. It has to be a successful counter, which means you'll hear the little ding. Then you hit X plus A and get ready for massive damage. Second is the Draw Cancel. I've detailed this method in lesson one of the How to Play Bow Like a Champion series. The simple version is this. While in motion, press right trigger, then quickly hold left trigger. This will remove the draw animation and allow you to fire your first shot faster. It also makes you less vulnerable since you can't evade during that draw animation. I recommend practicing this method until it becomes automatic. It will make you a much better bow user in the long run. And the third important animation cancel is the evade shot cancel. This is probably the animation cancel that you came here for and is the one that people are referring to when they talk about animation cancel for the bow. It allows you to fire two fully charged shots very quickly, one right after the other. It's also the subject of many clickbait videos about the bow being broken. I have a video debunking that myth too. So here's how it works. You perform your evade shot, then quickly do a power shot right afterward. That's pretty much it. The evade shot is just a normal shot, but done automatically at the end of a dodge bolt or charging sidestep. You do this by first pressing the evade button to begin a dodge bolt, then while you're in motion, tap the right trigger. When your dodge bolt animation finishes, you'll fire a shot. If you press A, just as that shot animation begins, you'll cancel the first shot's wind down animation and immediately perform a power shot. Both shots will hit within a few frames of each other, and if you nail the timing, it will look almost like they were fired at the same time. Now, as cool as that one sounds, which of these three do I find the most useful? Without question, it's the draw cancel. The reason I find this one the most useful is because of the three, I use it most often. And its usefulness has saved me on many occasions. Before, I used to frequently get caught off guard during the draw animation. Now, using this animation cancel keeps my combo transitions fast and smooth and allows me to react a lot more quickly to incoming attacks. Evade shot cancel sounds amazing, but in practice, it makes very, very little difference to your clear times and overall effectiveness. It might save you 10 or 15 frames each time you use it, and so you're going to save in a completely ideal, optimal, perfect scenario, maybe 20 seconds. For a speedrunner who is already near perfect, it can be useful, but that's not you or me. If your quest times aren't already under three minutes, there are far better and easier ways to shave time off the clock. Now the coolest looking cancel, without question, goes to the Dragon Piercer animation cancel, it's the hardest one of the bunch to pull off, but when you do, it's one of the most satisfying things you can do in the game. Which animation cancels do you like to use, and have you found any cool animation cancels on weapons other than the bow? Let me know in the comments, make sure you subscribe to the channel, check out all my other cool videos, and I'll see you soon.